everybody and welcome to Quadcopter Review. I'm your host Pepe Prawns and as always I'm going to ask you to like this video, comment on it if you feel like it, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing helps grow this channel to bring you more things. And if you look up here at the top on any one of my videos you'll see the latest giveaways going on here at the channel. So today what I've got for you is the Armor 65 Lite. My good friends at Makerfire sent me this little one here. So we can keep looking for an entry level little quad for new people coming into the hobby, which we need new people in the hobby, so I'm trying to find good ones for them. On the back here you got the stickers, you can read what's in the box, and you can check out the specifications of this little quad. Now recently I heard that unboxings weren't necessary anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox this one. And to prove how much I don't care about what people say, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unbox this one twice. How about that? So let's go ahead and look and see what's in the box for you new folks. You're going to get a charger that's USB, some spare screws, spare set of props, one 300 milliamp battery, one 65 light, and the toy grade controller. I also got an extra set of gimbals with it that go on there. You can replace these little gimbals here. They're kind of short and squat. Uh, this is a toy grade radio. Don't expect the world for the price on this thing. You're going to get something that you can work with. Now, you can switch this out and use a jumper on this. Because this little quad does use NFE silverware and the Bay Yang protocol. So you can use that on a jumper because the jumper will handle that Bay Yang protocol. So that's something to think about as well. You can purchase this without the radio and just the quad, or you can purchase it with the radio. Now we have our USB charger here, plugs right into computer, laptop, or whatever you might have, an external chargeable battery and that's going to be there. You might want to buy a couple more batteries uh, if you're new in the hobby. One battery you're just not going to want to wait between. We've got some spare screws here. We've got an extra full set of props up here and um, you, you might want to buy more of these. These are push-on props and push-on props can fly off when you crash and you will crash a whole bunch when you start to learn how to fly FPV. It's just part of the game. Now let's take a look at what's on the quad itself. Now it's a 65 millimeter that weighs 24.5 grams. It is using silverware as I mentioned before. It is a brushed quadcopter so it's using 0716 17,600 kV motors on it. 25 milliwatt only VTX. 800 TVL camera. And it comes with 31 millimeter four blade props. Now also hiding in the box I found this little prop puller you'll need to pop your props off and a bunch of stickers that come along with it if you want to decorate up your little quad. Now you're also going to find a little support card in there too where you can contact service at any time you need any help with this little guy setting it up or anything else you need to know. Now you might remember in the beginning of the video I mentioned that you can get this with or without this little toy grade controller here. Now with this little controller it is $49.99 at the time of this video and without it is $42.99 so if you don't want this, don't need it, you already have something else like a jumper to use, you don't have to get this. But this little radio is going to run on three AAA batteries here that you'll put in, not rechargeable so you're going to have to change those out if you choose to use this little radio. Now on top of the little quad you're going to see right here this is so you can change your channel on your VTX so it is out there and accessible to change that pretty easily. You're using the JST2 plug so if you're buying batteries make sure you're looking for the JST2 plug on that one. Now if I look at this little guy here I'm looking to see if it has any port or bind button in order to uh, bind this to another radio or the port in order to change out the firmware if you wanted to and I don't see it so my guess is you would have to actually have that factory it's an odd shaped three pinned guy in order to do it so again I'm expecting this to be bought for new users so you likely aren't going to get into wanting to change the firmware on that anyhow. Now because this doesn't come with any kind of manual, let's uh, take a look at the radio here if you did buy this and are wondering how things work. So here it is with those other gimbals on there, so it brings it up just a little bit higher because the gimbals were so short, gives you a little bit more thumb ability here. Now we have our adjustments for our yaw pitch, trim, 
and our throttle so you can adjust those you want to you know check your level before you fly because it can really mess up your flying on your left hand trigger there you have the arm button on the right is your modes button it has two modes the first mode is level flight so that'll prevent you from flipping over and the second mode is acro where you are not held into a level you can do flips and tricks you'll probably progress to that now if you are looking for the manual and you want to read further than what i'm showing you look in the links below I've added a link to the manual to this kit so you can read a little bit more in depth than I'm probably going over here in this quick review. Now, if you're new to silverware at all, at least I've found that silverware has a tendency to idle rather rather fast, uh, almost where it feels like the, the quad's going to try to take off off the ground just when you arm it. But uh, I found that to be normal. Fear not. Just be ready on your sticks to get flying when you arm it up. So. To get started, all you're going to do is have your goggles ready if you're using goggles. Make sure you've charged up your battery. Make sure you've put batteries in your controller itself. Then what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the battery in the quad. You'll see here we got some flashing lights. That is the unarmed state. So you'll see it blinking. So if we turn on the controller, you'll see it make a few blinks and then it'll go solid and now you are armed so it has been pre-bound so you're ready to go by just arming it next thing you want to do again if you're using goggles you're going to go ahead and get it plugged in on these fat sharks you got to wait for the old trudy to, to catch up and then just do a quick scan for the channels available on this little quad choose which channel we want to use out of it we'll just keep it on race one here and we will then be ready to take a look at how it flies. Now it's been raining for a couple days here, so it is nighttime and we're gonna do an indoor flight with this guy. So first mode I'm in is in the level flight mode, and I have found that this is actually pretty powerful, pretty zippy little machine. I actually wasn't expecting it to be as zippy as it is because of the size of the motors, and I'm used to flying much higher KV motors on these little tiny whoop class type quads and uh anyway so i was pleasantly surprised now uh, a little twitchy on the sticks you'll see uh, kind of a more of a, a violent turn situation now if you're new to flying fpv um you'll hear a term called muscle memory said very often by a lot of people muscle memory is basically your fingers adapting to your radio to where it just be kind of your radio kind of becomes one with your hands and, and things become sort of automatic now when you change your radio to something like this um yeah you, your your hands are are reacting more like they would with the other radio so you're going to see that in my flights as i'm just kind of hard twitch turning because that's the way it responds but as you can see it is fully functional radio it's it's working just fine a little bit of bounce a little bit of this and that now at this point i've switched into air mode which is even zippier and lose a little bit of control here making a turn as you can see no level mode you can fully flip yourself out on this one and that was i, I thought a little funny now i left this little part in here because as you'll see when i go to take off the cat tries to come and grab it right now so my overall thoughts on this one is i think maker fire has given us a really affordable entry into silverware if you want to try silverware at 42.99 i think that's a really good deal for this little guy i know other ones aren't that that expensive in general anyways but this is another option if you choose to to go the maker fire route um i am a big fan of theirs now little easter egg if you made it this far that i'm not putting even in the title is i'm going to give this little kit away so if you're wanting to get into fpv and you want to win this little kit to get into fpv all you'll need to do is buy yourself a pair of goggles if you want to fly fpv you can fly line of sight without it as you can see here too we can back it down for really slow flight to very very nice little quad but uh you can get yourself a little pair of goggles and you'll be good to go in fpv i'll put some links below to that as well 
But yeah, comment one time and one time only on this video and you will be entered to win this little kit. So uh, again, if, you, if you're interested, just you know, click the links. You could go ahead and buy one. And, and if you do click the links to buy one, I have a 5% code also in the links below that you could apply and save even a little bit more money on this guy. So as always, guys, I appreciate you coming by, watching my videos, help keep the channel growing. It is very excellent that I have so many people that are interested in this little bit of crappy video making that I do. And I'm very pleased to have you. So as always, guys, happy flying. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways on YouTube, look over here. Don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin. And if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel, check that out right here. And thanks for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and happy flying.